Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the GM Power Torque. <laughs> These are O'Reilly's Auto Parts Extra Large Screwdriver Set. It's a number four Phillips and then a number three eighths or a three eighths width heavy duty slot head. These are like demolition screwdrivers because they have a through steel shank. They did even press it to really make sure the acetate handle stays on. The cap is threaded to try to or ridge to prevent it from coming loose and of course it does have the striking cap but uh well i should mention for the 17 dollars normal price that they non-sale price these are a ripoff it's unfortunate but these are indeed chinese uh, i don't even think they suspiciously admit that on the screwdriver itself but we can tell on the packaging they're chinese and i had picked these up because they had looked similar to uh the Pittsburghs here and one thing I was noticing is I thought they were larger just because well they don't say the length on the package but on the screwdriver itself they're like 18 inches so I thought okay the Pittsburghs are 16 inches as we can see here so I thought oh these are gonna be a couple inches or <laughs> at least a couple inches longer they're just a little bit larger version so they're charging a little bit more money so I got home and I have the Pittsburghs, which are $10 for the set. And then as I compared them, I said, what on earth is going on here? They're labeled as 18 inch and 16 inch, yet the Pittsburgh is quite a bit larger. And so O'Reilly's is playing number games, really unfortunate. On the Pittsburghs, at least they have the ability to stamp chrome vanadium on it. And they do put Made in China on it. We're on these, it's all just laser etched, so they're actually even a little bit cheaper because stamping is an extra process that costs money. And the numbers game that they're playing is the fact that they're measuring the overall length of the screwdriver. We're on the Pittsburgh, that 16 inches, and they're fudging it, but that 16 inches is right where the handle meets. So this Pittsburgh is properly, Harbor Freight, surprisingly enough, is doing better here because they're rating uh, a proper rating, which is not including the handle. It's the usable amount of tool, the, the length of the shank, 16 inches. In reality, if we were to use the same measurement as the power torque, we would find that these are just a little bit short, but would be called 21 inch screwdrivers. So I think that's pretty cheesy, a power torque. And since they're charging more money, absolutely not get them. They are literally the same screwdriver made by the same company, but just a different length. They're shorter drivers, the exact same drivers out of the same factory, almost, except for they're shorter and they're twi um, twice the cost, or nearly twice the cost of the Harbor Freights. Just a real big disappointment there. And then I was noticing, we have the Harbor Freight in my left hand here, is if we compare the tip width on the slot heads, we can see that the power torque is just a little bit narrower, which is a further diss. Now, the whole reason you want these is, number one, these are a big number four Phillips, which is actually pretty hard to find in any kind of hand screwdriver square shank, so you can use an adjustable wrench to gain extra leverage. Striking cap actually helps with these large Phillips screws because when you do run into them, and sometimes you run into them in odd places from automotive brake rotors to various screws on motorcycles and in construction work where that screw will be pretty stuck especially in number four phillips you're gonna have a hard time getting it out really likely to strip it so the whole point to this is you can put it in get it all fitted up nice into the head of the screw and then hit this a couple times to try to get the screw to shift a little bit making it easier to actually remove that phillips head fastener and of course these big slot heads are just improvised <laughs> Uh, excuse me, improvised pry bars, and they're kind of nice because they are a straight uh, pry bar with a pretty small tip, not as strong as actual pry bars, but nonetheless, that's really what you get a large slot head for, is for various more quote-unquote precision prying duties, and it's nice that it has a striking cap, because many actual pry bars just have plastic handles and are not made to be hit, like these big screwdrivers. So anyway, that's my review of these GM power torques, even though I talked about the Pittsburghs a whole lot, uh, because it's just disrespect to buy the same product from the same manufacturer and charge more money for 
a lesser product. Ouchies. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.